certainly Kevin Brown is pleased with that one, as is Brandy. Brandy, of course, was 10th in the all-around at the Olympics last year in Seoul. You can see here on the finish of her uneven bar routine, there's a giant full, another giant, and she finishes with a very clean tuck double back. Her score, 9.775 for the lead, which brings up 14-year-old Maria Nicolita from Romania. Look at the speed on those giant swings. There's a giant to a blind. That straddle front is called a Jaeger. She traverses to the lower bar and she casts back up into giant swings. She really cranks those giants over and a full twisting double dismount. Big finish for Maria Nicolita. Here's a cast pirouette and a move called a long hand glide to shoot through. She continued up to a handstand, finished with very powerful giants, through to a full twisting double. Her score, 9587, but that means Brandy Johnson wins her second gold medal here in Cutbus. Right now, let's join Peter Regat at the U.S. Road Cycling Championships in Park City, Utah. Gold medals, she's going for a third here on the balance beam. She qualified in first with a 975 from the preliminary round. She opens with a move called a Diamidoff. It was invented by Diamidoff, the Soviet male gymnast for the parallel bars, and now the women are using the same move on the balance beam. There's a series of leaps with a small bobble. This is a very exciting event for Brandy, but it's the most difficult for her because she's so powerful, it's hard sometimes to maintain control. But she does nicely on that back handspring, back handspring layout. Now, there have been some rule changes since the Seoul Olympics. The judges are requiring the women gymnasts to do more dance elements in their exercises. But there's no question that Brandy Johnson's specialty is the acrobatic elements. And there's a fine example of strong, powerful acrobatic elements on balance beam. That's a punch front. Setting up here again, and a swing through layout. One more very difficult acrobatic element this late in the routine. And she's getting set for her dismount now. Tremendous lift on a round off, tough double back, and a perfect landing. That's gonna score well for Brandy Johnson. Once again, you can see on the replay, the tremendous reach, notice her arms stretch to the ceiling, which gets her good lift and good rotation and sets in for a perfect landing. 9.85 for Brandy Johnson. And there's no question that Brandy's biggest competition in this event on the balance beam will come from this young girl, 14-year-old Maria Nicolita from Romania. Maria follows in a long line of great balance beam workers from Romania. And all of that started, of course, with Nadia Komenich in 1976. Very nice acrobatic elements. Back handspring, layout, layout. That's world-class acrobatic series. Maria, of course, is coached by Adrian Goriak, who's been the head coach for the Romanian national team since 1982, since the defection of Bella Caroli, who has since, of course, moved to the United States and is coaching in Houston. Aerial cartwheel back handspring layout once again. Another very difficult series. Maria shows work close to the balance beam, something the judges are looking for. She also showed a mixed series. That's one of the new requirements. The judges are looking for more dance and acrobatic element combinations. So far, this exercise is very clean. Handspring, back handspring, tuck double back, and one small hop on the landing. Great exercise for Maria Nicolita. Now with this strong acro series here, Maria scores a 9.75, which means that Brandy Johnson, with her 9.85, wins her third gold medal here in Cottbus. But right now, let's go back to Park City with Peter Regat. Floor exercise competition. This is once again 14-year-old Maria Nicolita from Romania who's a very powerful tumbler. 
She opens with a full twisting pike double back, nicely done. Maria is coached by many of the great former Romanian gymnasts. In fact, Nadia Comaneci is involved with the junior national team, as is Ekaterina Zabo, winner of four golds in the 84 Olympics. The Romanians do a terrific job at keeping many of their former champions involved in coaching the new juniors. She sets up for her second tumbling run. On the flip-flop, whip through to tuck double back. Back handspring, punch. Good combination tumbling back through to a double twist. Maria has a little more of a classical style than you see from many of the Romanian gymnasts. Beautiful extension. It's her last tumbling run. Tuck double back, very high and perfect form. Good finish for Maria Nicolita. Maria came into this final competition with a 9.75 in the preliminaries. This is the best part of her exercise, the whip back through to tuck double back. She continues on with a back handspring, punches right through to a round off, two back handsprings to a layout, double twist, excellent combination tumbling. Her score, 9.712. Here's Brandy Johnson once again. She already has three gold medals today. She's shooting for her fourth and a perfect sweep of the individual event finals with her routine here in the floor. There's no question that this is Brandy Johnson's best event. And to the music by Donna Summer, Hot Stuff. Here she goes. A beautiful pull-in pike to a perfect landing. What a powerhouse. Her second run, round off, whip, whip. Flip, flop, tuck, double back. Great combination work. beautiful for Brandy Johnson because her coaches Kevin and Rita Brown have picked ways of really showing off her explosive style and her dramatic intensity and what a dismount here at Tuck Double Back nicely done she's fun to watch <laughs> strong finish for Brandy Johnson here in Cut Bus now keep in mind, she came into the finals in a fourth place tie in floor exercise with a score of 9.7. But with this tremendous mount, the full in pike to a perfect landing, Brandy Johnson scores a 9.8. And she'll take the lead in floor. And so with that score, Brandy Johnson wins the gold in the floor exercise competition, a score of 9.8. She's followed by Oksana Shushovitina from the Soviet Union and Maria Nekulita from Romania. In the balance beam competition, once again, it's Brandy Johnson with a 9.85. She's followed by Maria Nekulita. And Ancha Vilkenlo wins the first of her two medals for East Germany. In the uneven bars competition, that's where Ancha Vilkenlo got her other medal. Camelia Mindrasel from Romania gets the silver. Once again, Brandy Johnson with a 9.775 gets the gold. And in the vault competition, Brandy Johnson gets the gold, 9.768. She's followed by Valeria Kiss and Lori Strong from Canada. And now let's go back to Craig Sager in Atlanta. Thanks, Bart. Here's what else is happening in the world of amateur sports. At the World Boxing Championship... Hot Bus International Gymnastics event, let's review some of the highlights. This is Lori Strong on the uneven bars from Canada. Lori, of course, the national champion from Canada, competitor in the Olympics in Seoul. Right there, 
She does The Strong. It's an overshoot with a one and a half twist, named after Lori, of course. She was the first to perform it in international competition. Uneven bars is certainly her most explosive event. She really charges as she powers these giants over the top to a full turn, adds another giant, and finishes with a very strong open pike double back. Now, once again, let's look here at the overshoot one and a half twist, which bears her name. It's called a strong because she was the first to perform it in international competition. She continued in her exercise the giant hop, straddle back to the low bar. The judges need to see a transition from the high bar to the low bar and back. Beautiful cast to a perfect handstand. Tremendous speed on these giants. There's the full over the bar. One more giant. And then the open pike, double back dismount. Strong exercise. The score, 9.45. And we'll be back with more gymnastics from Cottbus. National Gymnastics Invitational. This is Brandy Johnson on floor exercise. Brandy is a very powerful tumbler. Here's her opening run. A perfect full in pipe. A lot of coaches in the United States feel that Brandy Johnson has many of the similar characteristics as Mary Lou Retton. She's powerful and she has the same kind of bubbly personality that certainly sells well to the judges. You know, earlier we spoke to Brandy about performing on the floor exercise and what goes through her mind while she's out there. I like different, to learn different skills on each event, but I enjoy tumbling the most, floor exercise. Because I'm good at floor exercise, <laughs> it comes easier for me than for other gymnasts. And a very high tuck double back dismount, nothing to it. Well, for the young lady who's been in gymnastics for nine years out of Altamont Springs, Florida, she is really putting together a terrific performance here in East Germany. Here's her dismount, round off back handspring, very high tuck double back, and the score 9.7. Right now, let's go back to Park City, Utah, and Peter Regal. Full. Kevin Brown certainly liked it, and many of us feel that. Brandy Johnson's best hope for a medal in the upcoming World Championships in October is right here on the vault because of her power and her tremendous position and form in the air. Brandy Johnson gets a 9.725 on that vault. Which brings us now to Maria Neculita from Romania. She's 14 years old. She'll be performing on the balance beam. Maria's first major international competition came this last year at the Junior Balkan Championships in Greece, where she was a member of the Romanian team. She has a lot of difficulty in this routine. Back handspring, layout, layout, nice. Typical of the Romanian style on balance beam, her movements are very sharp and very crisp and precise. Getting set for another acro series. Aerial cartwheel, back handspring layout. Three very difficult moves back to back to back. There's her mixed series. A dance element as well as an acro element. She needs to work down low to the beam. The judges require that. So far this exercise is packed with difficulty and the form has been superb. Here's the dismount, back handspring, back handspring, tuck double back, and two small steps on the landing. Here's a good look at the split jump. Leap series, one of the requirements and one of the new rule changes that has happened since the Olympics in Seoul. The judges continue to make the requirements 
on all of the events for the gymnasts more and more difficult. There's a series back handspring, layout, layout, perfect. 